Good afternoon. So five days in a row, my legs are cooked. I've been tired and sore and worn out before, but I've never had this kind of leg burn to where I had to give up and come in because I just could not do any more turns. On the fifth day, I, I resorted to just kind of straight legging it, only doing an upright stance, not bending my knees at all. I just couldn't do any more turns. Day four was on the weekend and everyone came out. The whole Chrissy crew sailed down. A boat expedition came down. It was so great to see everyone and have everyone out. I mean, Jeff here is on a ride that was a minute and 22 seconds. Back in the day when I discovered this place, if we got a 10 second ride, that would have been like all time world record. And to be out here and getting consistent multiple minute plus long minute rides without even trying, you know, without even having to think about it, just let go with one hand and go. And it just would go and go and go and go. And this place is incredible. I mean, it's, it's almost as if it was named Treasure Island by some kind of wind sport or a wayfinder or someone who knew the score because there is so much treasure off the north tip of the island here. It's like launching a little protected cove and then boom, straight into just mega swells and, you know, probably the most consistent wind spot in the bay and we can see Christian launching big making it look easy and just fun to watch but there's just something about this spot that it I mean it's it's location in the center of the bay so the wind is is like really bankable it's probably the most consistent but then I don't I have no idea why the swell is so good and why it's like consistently lined up but it just is like other spots might have more wind or you know different setups or the bumps are even bigger sometimes, but just the consistent quality here is unreal. It's just, it's so fun. So fun. The approach here can be intimidating, like pull into this like crazy looking island out in the middle of the bay. And it's just, you know, it's just like flat, you know, human built thing that's rectangular. And there's like, it's always changing. Like it's been constantly under development or supposed development or planned development for as long as I can remember. It's like every time I go, you never know if there's like something new going to be built. Like sometimes the gate to the launch ramp would be locked and have to go out a different way. And just parking was always different or didn't know what the deal was or what the score was. And so I just added to the vibe of like, this is a, a serious place to launch, not beginner friendly and need to need to respect the both the the wind strength and the bump size and just the small footprint of the launch that like you know it's only a few hundred yards so like if you get blown down wind that's it you know it's four miles to the nearest land rumor has it the name came from all the gold that might be in the the soil that was used to create the island and for me the real you know nuggets and gems are out here in the swell because you know i've been all over the bay and and been like on the hunt this season for like you know the biggest most rideable bumps and going to all the places on the right tides and the strongest winds and lo and behold you know the place where I did my first downwinder and had what I coined you know whatever seven eight years ago as like the most epic downwind ever is is the place I returned to Treasure Island just and man what a treasure to have this spot I think because the like the launch area and the gathering spot is is so small and and there's no services really on the island. You know, it has this like remote feel out in the middle of the the bay that it, it brings us all together. Like in a, in a tight crew, we all hang together, be together. You know, it's like other spots are there's, you know, there's restaurants and bars and world famous tourist locations right nearby. And so like, you know, it tends to spread everybody out. It's got a more just a different feel. But here we all band together like, you know, like pirates or sailors or something, you know, like goes with the lore of the name and, you know, Treasure Island and all the the history of like the World's Fair and then the Navy and then, you know, the proposed casino plan and all, you know, Monte Carlo comes to the Bay, like all this stuff. And, and now there's even a plan to, and they've actually started building, but a plan to put like 8,000 homes and, you know, full on retail and commercial space. And then to have a huge open space, like a ton of grass and and nature and stuff and and so it you know it could be rad it could be a really awesome you know it could be as fun as this ride i'm getting here this is one of these long minute plus rides that i was just like oh are you kidding me like it's this easy i can just let go and keep going and going and going you know and and then 
So this is a treasure. This place is awesome. This is one of the best in the Bay. It is, it's definitely not beginner friendly. You need to go on the buddy system, bring a radio, you know, have a plan B, you know, if you get blown down to Emeryville, have a way to, to get in and all that, you know, but that being said, this is, this is a true treasure. And, and hopefully with the plan development that's underway, they will make it wind sport friendly, you know, and if there are 8,000 homes, I mean, what is that? 20,000, 30,000 people that might live on the Island, however many it is. But like if even a tiny percentage of those are wind sport people, you know, wing foilers, wind surfers, kite surfers, you know, whatever it is. But like, just think of how cool the community could be. And if they could, you know, now's the time to get involved and, and to, uh, you know, let our voices be heard. And, and the organization here in the, in the Bay area, the SFBA is advocating on our behalf and, and, you know, there's all kinds of shenanigans with like tolls and stuff and who knows what's really going to happen. But yeah, so come on out, taste the goods and check out what the SFBA is doing and, and the work to support and make this a wind sport friendly place because it truly is a treasure. And I hope this was enjoyable. And thanks so much for watching. And please show your support. Thanks, like, spread it around. Also, YouTube has the new thanks option. You can contribute that way or they have the membership on actual YouTube itself. You can join there. All that helps. Thank you so much.